Last time already I mentioned other three types of code. Binary, uh, bipolar means you can have both positive and negative values. Tools complementary is used in computer calculation. Binary coded decimal, every four bits represents one decimal. And not uh, very useful. <clears throat> Now about uh, DAC, Digital Tool Analog uh, Converter. It is uh, a device that can convert a digital signal into analog signal. Uh, if you have a digital output, you can use uh, this uh, device to convert into an analog signal. The most popular one is based on ladder network. That is the one we discuss, ladder network. Here is a, a diagram to show you LADAR network. Uh, if you look uh, from this, uh, this end, that's the whole lot look like uh, input impedance. And here is a feedback. Uh, overall, this uh, like inverting amplifier. Right. A little bit more complicated because here you have those uh, switches. I try to explain the principle uh, as um, brief as uh, possible. Basically, is an inverting amplifier. The current in each branch is fixed, no matter where a switch is positioned, because one side is ground, the other side is a virtual ground. Uh, what does this mean? You look at those uh, switches. Uh, a switch can be this side, can be that side. However, here is a ground that is zero, right? Here, because we have a negative feedback, that is also zero, yeah. That is a real ground, this is a virtual ground, but the potential is the same, is a zero. So, so it doesn't really matter is a switch on this side, on that side, the potential is the same. All the time, this potential is zero. Potential is zero all the time. It doesn't matter which side the switch is. So the potential is zero, but it is not ground. Yeah? Remember this is not ground. The potential is zero. Different position of a switch only determine whether or not the currents go through feedback resistor. Uh, look at this uh, again. If you have a current in this branch, you have a current. <coughs> right. If a switch on this side, this current will go this way. If a switch uh, on this side, the current will go that way. That is the only difference with a different size of a switch is the current will go through different, um, uh, different uh, paths. Now, it's a very, very important um, point is all those uh, current are fixed. I start from here, I suppose, this is a suppose, suppose this uh, current on this uh, left side is uh, I, right? Uh, I said uh, potential here is a zero, that is zero. Potential is the same. Yes, uh, the potential is the same. Here is two I that determine this current must be I. That is, uh, doesn't matter where your switch is. Uh, two I, two, that is I, that is I. Through here, this determine there must be two I. There's no choice, it's a two I. Now, if you consider those two in parallel together, this is become R. Series with this, this become two R. So these uh, three together, if I use a different color, I group those uh, three together, this is equivalent to R. Uh, this is equivalent to two R. Because uh, here is uh, in parallel, this is R. In series with R, this is two R. Uh, if you look here, this is two R. Here, this block is also 2R. This is the same. 
So this current must uh, be the same, those two currents. So this current determine that current must be 2i. Again, this uh, 2i, 2i together, this uh, must determine this, this is a 4i. 4i determine this, this is uh, 4i. It's central, this 8i, 8i, 6i, 16i in the end. So this is a very interesting uh, phenomena. Um, all those uh, currents fixed is i, i, 2i, 4i, 8i, right? Those are current. Is, uh, only difference is when you switch to different uh, sides, the current either leak to ground directly or this uh, current go through this uh, feedback resistor. Right? That is a uh, feature of a ladder network. If you try to read a textbook, I'm sure you need uh, quite a long time to understand the principle. I hope my explanation is clear. If you are not clear during synchronous session, we can discuss uh, again. As D determine how much current flow through feedback resistor RF, uh, now we take uh, RF equals R to, uh, to keep a uh, simple, then the relationship between VO and D, we can use uh, this equation to describe. So VO equals minus VREF. VREF is your input, uh, is your input um, voltage. Uh, minus, because here you have a minus N, that is the inverting amplifier. Here n is the number of bit. Uh, in this case, you have a four bit, uh, one, two, three, four, four bit. D is a digital value. That is a digital value. Uh, the maximum, uh, you look at uh, maximum current can go through. If uh, here is uh, eight, four, two, one. If we add all together, this is a uh, 15. That is 15, uh, two plus eight is 10, and here is a five. So it's a maximum is a 15. So max, maximum, maximum 15. Ah. Yeah, you may notice this uh, figure here is uh, slightly lower than this, than 16. Ah. So the maximum is a two N minus one. In this case, N is uh, four, uh, two power four, uh, two power four, this is 16. I explained uh, to you the maximum current actually is a 15. Maximum current is a 15, maximum. Right? It's a uh, one bit uh, smaller. Now, if we use uh, N to stand for this uh, two N minus one. Now, because of this uh, um, uh, DAC can only provide uh, one direction, uh, actually is only negative. If uh, here is positive, here must be negative, right? It's, uh, that, that's why this is a unipolar DAC, only one, one direction. All right, <laughs> the, we jump this uh, example. Uh, now we uh, have a look at the opposite one. That is uh, ADC, analog to digital converter. In analog uh, ADC, there are two major types. One is a dual ramp, one is a successive, successive uh, approximation. Dual ramp, mostly used in the multimeter. If we use a digital multimeter, all multimeter inside is a dual ramp. ADC. But in a data acquisition system, uh, mostly we use a successive uh, approximation. So I introduce those uh, two uh, different, um, different technique. This is the uh, principle of a dual ramp ADC. Basically, that is unknown. That is you want to measure. This is reference that is you know. This is um, <coughs> basically is an inverting amplifier. And because here is a capacitor, uh, this effectively 
this is an integrator. And so with a current going through, we learned that this before, you have a current to this uh, capacitor, the voltage would uh, increase linearly. And here is a, uh, is a comparator uh, control unit that is uh, to control. Now let's see how this uh, uh, diagram works, how this uh, circuit works. The first step, clear count, counter, uh, make, uh, make sure this uh, start from zero. And then switch on S1, keep S2 open. The current will go there to charge this uh, capacitor. So this is a charging process. Right. Now with this, uh, in the meanwhile, this uh, counter, you start uh, to count. The second, uh, uh, the next uh, step, is uh, once you integrate for a certain time, we use uh, this uh, diagram to show, right? You will charge up, uh, this is time is uh, fixed, and then you open S1, close S2, back to here. Uh, you open this one, close that one. Now, those two must be different polarity. If here is positive, here must be negative so that you make sure it's a discharge in this way, in a different way. During discharge, it will go from here, go through there to there, to there. That is a discharge. So this uh, discharge will, with the discharge, this potential will be reduced, reduced, reduced until this point uh, zero. Once you reach zero, the counter will stop. And then you read the counter is how many, how many digits you fill in. That is your digital value. So this is a, a process um, how this, uh, this um, uh, works. I like to leave uh, this because this is a little complicated. I like to leave this to a synchronized session. I'll make sure we can cover this, uh, this part, this synchronize. Okay. <clears throat>